Uh, welcome, team. Uh, welcome, everyone, to live stream. Uh, as some of you already know, some of you may not, um, British Rowing Indoor Champs uh, coming up in December. So we're going to just structure a few of these live streams, uh, which will help some people out that are jumping on the Recommit Plus program. Um, yes, <laughs> anyone that is doing, you'll be like, man, a couple of days ago, I did a thousand metre test just to to uh, ruin myself. And now you're going to ask me to do this. Yep, sorry about that. But we're not trying to, for, for some people, right, we're not trying to max out our session today. Okay, what we're trying to do is just get comfortable finding rhythm at ratings, okay? Um, for anyone else that's on the stream, uh, this is a great opportunity for you to do exactly the same, okay? So what we're trying to do in the session today, it's a short session, okay? Not a long one, but we're going to manage our stress levels, which is up around here, okay? And that's probably where we're going to do the majority uh, of the real physical stuff okay prior to that um when we're up here in the 22s 24s we're just looking really good rhythm okay with a with a good intensity so and the reason that we're doing the two sets per rating is that we do the first one what can i do better okay and then you, you work on that you work on the rhythm you work on the flow see if you can gain another meter okay if you don't doesn't matter if you're trying something new, all good, whatever, okay? So we're just really using the fact that we've got two sets at each rating to work on different structure, different rhythms, different ratings that we're trying to find so that we can start getting up into those higher rates and be a little bit more comfortable, little bit, okay? Not going to be comfortable, but just a little bit more comfortable, okay? And that's why we work through uh, all of the rates, each one, little bit of break in there, okay? But we we'll use that fatigue that we're going to build up because we do only have this 40 seconds of rest period to really push ourselves along, really stay focused towards the end, uh, and these last sets might get a little bit dicey, okay? Um, I've put that asterisk beside the last two sets. Uh, just for anyone new that's on here uh, that's like, crikey, I can't rate that high that's fine, okay, then manage manage that stress level, manage your rate yourself, okay, as I've, as I've written down here. Um, as we get up into that, if you're finding it too tough, finding it a bit too fast, um, just manage it, okay, find something that's a little bit sustainable, because at the end of the day, we're trying to find a sustainable rhythm and pace when we get up to high level, so when we get into a race situation, whether that's 1,000, 500, 2K, whatever it is, we can try and hold a sustainable rhythm, and that's what we want to do today. At each of these rates, when you're on 22, we'll find this motion, we'll find this metronomic rhythm. When we get to 24, we'll do exactly the same, and we're just moving faster. So by moving faster, we'll get that speed a little bit more naturally, okay? And that's what we'll focus on today a little bit, okay? Yes, we are going to put a bit of pressure behind each stroke, okay? But it needs to be manageable, for not only the set, but for the whole workout. Uh, and then when we do each one, as I say, we're going to work on finding that rhythm that allows us to do that, that piece naturally and with some good rhythm, okay, some good speed, trying to stay as relaxed as possible so we don't get to the end of each one going, holy, oh, man, I'm, I'm absolutely buggered. Okay, we find a good pace and a good rhythm. Yes, we work. We're going to be working hard. Don't worry about that. We always work hard, okay? Everyone works hard. Okay, but it's working smart, and we want to find that smartness in the way that we work and how we do it. Okay, uh, good to see everyone here in the chat. Let's go. Hi, Jess. Uh, Michael Harrison, Robro, as always, he's here. Okay, so uh, that's about it. Um, don't really need to say too much more. Um, we'll jump on. We'll do a little bit of a warm-up. I don't think we need to do like a massive warm-up. Um, but we'll just probably roll it out for for another minute or so from what we normally do, uh, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay. Mm. Ah, you beauty. Coffee goes down a treat this time in the morning. I'm not going to lie. Five a.m. Uh, right. Okay. You beauty. So uh, let's get ready to go. We'll chat about it as we go. Um, but as always, um, just get prepared. Uh, the other thing, too, for, for anyone that's on here, 
Um, we are going to do this at a later stage as well. Um, experiment a little bit with your drag if you'd like to. Um, just, you know, you can, you can move it half a number, uh, whatever. You can adjust your feet a little bit. So anybody that's new to the stream or new to, this, uh, to the videos uh, that is doing the program, uh, yeah, adjust things. Have a look. Do, I, do you get more comfortable with your feet a bit lower? Or are you better to have them a little bit higher so then you can get a flatter push? I don't know. Okay, so remember that. Even even everyone that hits here on the stream um, uh, with the regulars, you know, is this the best place that you could be? Especially for a shorter period. Uh, sometimes it's better to have your feet just slightly higher. Or, nah, I like it. It's comfortable. This is where I want to be. Is the drag right? Could be a little bit harder. Could be a little bit less. Uh, and that's something for... Uh, up in here, remember that there's no specific drag that you need to be using. It's all a personal preference uh, and find what is comfortable for you. Okay, right, let's rock and roll. Warm up time, uh, however you like. I will do exactly what I always do in my warm up, building it out, getting my stretch going. These old bones these days of muscles, just want to get nice and loose and relaxed, okay, I like to just build every stroke getting slightly longer, feeling the stretch, I'm trying to just start out by getting into the position that you want to be in without being super tense, okay, we don't want to be super locked out and tight. Just supple, remembering that we're building the speed on screen. We don't have to be straight onto our speed as we get longer and longer. Once we get out to full length, and you feel like you're in a comfortable rowing stroke, then we just start to add a little bit of pressure as we go through. Okay. Good. Feeling this rhythm. Starting to get that appreciation of leaving these handles out the front. Leave them there. Push away. Feeling the legs opening that body out. Okay. Natural compression. Especially now, we don't have to be super fast or super accurate as we warm up with this turnaround to catch. It does allow us to stretch, let those heels come up naturally as we compress into the front holding that body position that we've managed to get off the back and on the way forward. Smooth. With one speed, okay? Really trying to focus on this one speed into the front, not super fast and slow, or slow and super fast. Roll in with a rhythm, okay? Like a running stroke. Or a running step, left and right, this is the same, back and forward, it's smooth, we don't have one leg faster than the other. Nice and flat with this chain, we don't need to be dropping it just too far, okay, see if we drop what happens, my shoulders tend to go down, if I keep it on the plane, Manages to hold everything quite flat into the front. Okay, so we should be now, as we're warming up, starting to push on just a little bit more effort. Nice pressure. If 
both feet. If we feel that push, we're at this compression. Push away. Remembering that the push of the stroke, we're trying to drive the bodies back. Okay, we're not trying to push the legs down and then bring the body in. We're trying to use the core structure to be pushed and sit back into this sort of shape towards the finish. Okay, we're going to open these bodies out. Use that body's ability to hang off the front. Really good grip strength. Okay, without being super tense. Hang off it. Like we're hanging off a chin-up bar. Hanging off the weights from the ground. Use that pressure as we push it on. And remember, we're trying to squeeze the foot system. Anyone new here, we talk about squeezing lemons. Okay, not smashing them. Right, another four or five strokes. Boom. Okay. Should be plenty in terms of a warm up. If you've got heart rate up, starting to get warm, starting to puff, we're pretty set, ready to go, okay? Uh, as I say, we'll be able to work through these ratings. Body's gonna get worked through the first set into the second, okay? We'll be all good, ready for that third, ready to pump it out, okay? Right, so, uh, quick drink. Be prepared. We'll get onto the Set up here now. Okay, so we'll do an interval workout. As always, interval workouts, best workouts on the on the planet. Uh, okay, so select workout, new workout, intervals, intervals time. Okay, we want our set time. Take that to two minutes. Scroll across. Keep going down. Okay, and select that rest time to be 40 seconds, okay? Now, yes, could have been a minute, could have been 30 seconds also, okay? But there's a different area of, uh, of recovery between each set, okay? And this is probably right in the middle. Um, if we do this at, say, 30 seconds, even chuck on a couple more sets, uh, it can be pretty pretty dicey. But also a minute, I feel, is a little bit too much in terms of rest period. Okay, so press the checkbox. Let's not muck around because machines can reset themselves if they sit there for too long. Okay, so that focus is to get out and get on just a comfortable rhythm. We wanna see sustainable splits on the screen for this period and then we work on the technique and we try and make it go a little, a little bit quicker in our second set. Okay, so 22. Move the hands, get nice freedom, okay, and then work on it from there. Right, are you ready? Attention. Go, hang, move the hands. Okay, so there we are, that's 22 right there. You follow my rhythm, because I'm gonna be holding speed. Okay, so we're just moving back and forward. Use this first set to get comfortable with our rhythm. Nice long arms. Feel that press, both feet, okay? Feel that pressure as we come into this recovery. Water catch. Feel the weight onto the feet there. Hold the bodies 
and good structure. And then we press away. Feel how long the press actually is. How long do we have that pressure on the feet? You should feel like it's nearly all the way to the finish of the stroke. Remembering, let the hands come to us there around the finish. Not trying to pull them in. Okay, not helping. Feel the pressure, but let them come. Don't use the little muscles too early. Okay, when they fatigue, we lose our form and rhythm. Good hang, good press, good body swing. Last one. Easy. Okay? Just like that. Okay, and the reason that we're doing two sets is we continue to row, okay? No stopping in between. The reason we do those two sets, we've just done one, okay? And you say to yourself, what could I do better? Did I feel like I was grabbing it a bit too much? Did I feel like I was rushing? Now's your chance at the exact same rate to work on that rhythm and try and make it slightly quicker. Okay, here we go. Moving in now. So we're back onto that pace. Now we find that rhythm at 22 strokes a minute. We'd be nice and comfortable with our flow. Trying to really use this hang, the big muscle groups, okay, using these glutes, the legs, the lower back, and really these lat muscles, okay, for the hang. We don't want to come in and go like this. We don't want to grab it. We want to really hang, use that body whip through there, okay. If the body swings, and we've got long arms out in front of us, that's where we get that speed. Okay, feel that now. Feel the press. That momentum. Okay, and we get the hands around the finish. And we just roll forward. Ready for the next stroke. Okay, good. The pressure. Relaxing in the face. Trying to be as loose as we can. Okay, get this work. Rest. Work. Rest. That's the ratio. We're trying to be really loose on this way forward. Less effort coming this way. Faster number on screen. Right, there you go. I've got four meters. Okay, and that's what we try and do with these split sets with a little bit of rate. It's really trying to get a little bit more by working on something as we go through. Okay, 24, we're going to start to get more metronomic which means that the speed this way and the speed this way, the ratio is almost going to be one to one, one to one, okay? Find that, tap it along. Let's get this flywheel, continue spinning it. Here we go, now. Okay, so start by moving the handles just a little bit quicker here. Feeling for the machine. There it is. Okay, but stay loose. Feel the hang. Good. That press. Relax the hands. Roll around. 
Good. Find this ratio. But also find your breathing. Think about that for a second. Be patient. Remembering, not trying to hit the front. We make it move through the middle of the stroke. Okay? This flywheel is like a big spinning top. Okay? You can't make it go right from the front. It happens through the middle. Once the speed of the flywheel starts to pick up, Good. Keep the hands moving. Round the finish. So important. Keep our rhythm there. We get stuck. We end up racing. And move. Round the turn. Round that back turn. Round the front turn. There's our continuous motion. Okay, nice. So, breathe it in. It's not going to be until we start getting up here that we're really going to get under pressure. Okay, so what we're trying to do now is trying to be as efficient as we can, especially in all of these rates, so that we can manage ourselves before we get to this top stuff. Okay. Let's get the flywheel spinning. Okay, we get the pace going after five strokes or so, and then we just want to tap it along. Here we go. Now. So, onto that rating. Think about our rhythm. Okay, there's our ratio. Back and forward. Okay, now let's maintain. Okay, hold this pressure. Hold the breathing. Feel the push. Okay, nice. Sitting nice and proud. Good structure. Remembering to stay loose. On this recovery, no super tension. Hands around the finish. Soft knee break. Okay, we want to get the legs down flat, but we don't want to block them out and do that. They can be straight with suppleness. Good. Breathe again. Don't clench the teeth. Open that mouth. Try and keep as loose as we can on the face. Any facial tension starts coming down into the shoulders, into the body. Okay? With me, hang, squeeze those lemons, push. Push that weight onto the footboard. There. Okay? Push. Push that body back. Legs drive the body. Good. Okay, hopefully you saw a bit more numbers on the screen too. Okay, so. Breathe here. Keep rowing. Drink and row if you can, okay? It's gonna start now especially through this next set, starting to build up on us a little bit more, okay? So, keep that good rhythm around the back turn. Okay, now we're at 26. Use this speed here to get that rating at 26. Travel a little bit quicker on the way forward. Here we go. Now. Okay, there we are. Okay, and now just settle into this rhythm. 
Not trying to match the power. We're trying to put enough power in to work, but also to hold this rhythm. Okay, look for that sustainable pace now. Hands with me, soft knees. Feel that rhythm traveling forward. Okay, feel this metronome. One to one, one to one. Okay, take that speed, try and be smooth around the front turn without getting there and hitting like that. Okay, none of this. Smooth change. It accelerates there through the middle. That can accelerate. Breathe. Move the hands. Both feet, be nice and symmetrical, right down the middle of the machine. Start that body set, hands out over the knees. Good, okay, nice. Really good rhythm, okay? And guess what? It's halfway, simple, okay? So, same process applies, okay? But even I'm puffing and panting, we've got to get onto this rhythm and just make it continuous, nice continuous motion, okay? Firming. Moving in. Now, hand speed. Okay, there it is. Feel the push. Let that body open out. Good. Good flow. Good rhythm, good pace. Nice rhythm around the turn. Feel those hands as they move around. Lead us forward. Okay? The chain is trying to recoil. Let it happen. Okay? A pendulum, metronomic rhythm, back and forward. Nice, good flow. Both feet, do that push. Hang under the armpits. Make sure we feel that stretch and hang not up here, but here, low, nice and low, big muscle groups. Long arms, hang. Smooth around the catch. Feel that pack up, seat coming under. All the way. Nice. Okay, really good. So, good set so far. We've got four left. Okay, manage yourself. If rating's a little bit high, just continue to maintain what you can. Okay, otherwise, move into 28. All we're doing is moving around here quicker. Okay, and as we come into the front, 
We've got to be a little bit sharper to do that. Okay, we roll in, compress, and we push away. Come in and push away. Really feel the hang. Feel more about leg speed. Good moving now. More leg speed rather than leg power, okay? Connect with the handle. Move the handles around the finish. Okay, we've got to keep these hands moving, otherwise we'll never get the rating. Freedom around the turn. Okay, there we are. Picking the speed. If we roll into the front, feel the compression, push away with acceleration. Listen to that machine. Here it goes. That's why we can't be too strong at the front. We want to be connected. It happens when the legs and the body, there, moving together. Breathe. Relax the face. Okay, hang with me. Long arms. Push and swing. Feel that ratio. Remember, let the hands come to us with acceleration. Don't try and pull them in. Okay, we're going to have pressure on them anyway. Maintain through to the finish. Brush the body. Move away. Good. Okay. Here we go. Okay, great work. Okay, starting to get up there. In intensity and speed. Okay, puffing and panting. Same here, team. Okay. Go away from thinking about how specifically hard we're working and more about can I work hard while being relaxed? Hey, feel this hang, the body swing, hands around. Okay, get this rhythm, this metronomic rhythm. Building now. I built the speed. Okay, here we go. Now long arms with me. Hands off the back, out over the knees. Soft knee break, roll forward. Feel the speed forward, seat underneath. Pressure. Good. Nice. Okay. And see how we've been metronomic. Hands moving. We want to move this flywheel. We want to maintain it. Pass it along. Both feet. Feel the feet and the shoes. Yes, you are going to feel that pressure against the toes trying to pull yourself forward. But feel it change. Back to the balls. Just before the start, had the catch. Good. Sitting tall, heads up. Open the mouth. Okay, great work. 
really solid team. Okay, so, as you can see, we're puffing. Now, these last two sets, sustainable pace without going ballistic, okay? Find that rhythm, tap it along. Get the flywheel to speed, move the hands, tap it along, here we go. Now, the idea around sustainable speed is to not let the flywheel slow down. Start handle speed around the finish. Be comfortable in the length without going right forward. Just be comfortable with where you get to. Hold this hang. Feel this rhythm. Metronome. Back, forward. Back, forward. Back, forward. Good. Feel this hang with me, under the armpits, down on the lats, nice and flat. Keep that chain on the plane. Feel the recoil. Push, accelerate. Leg speed, body speed. Maintain. The flywheel. Open the mouth. Try and release the tension. Handles to us. Body swing. With the leg pressure. Great. Okay, last one. Breathe. Okay, hold. Whatever's sustainable to you. Find that rhythm. Move with it, okay? We find this sustainable pace here, the sustainable flow. This is what it starts to feel like in the middle of a piece. When you're under pressure, Got to stay with clarity. We've got to get out of this. Got to get out of this. Move with rhythm. Here we go. Now, let's build it together. Flywheel takes a little bit of time. Get up to speed. Okay. Acceleration. Angle speed. Right, comfortable length. Now hang with me. Armpits down in the lat. Breathe now. Round the finish. Brush the body. Handle gets drawn, speed of the swing. Okay, flywheel. Focus that. Pick up the speed around the front. Squeeze the lemons. Swing the body. Good. When he strokes, hang, relax that face, move around, right, last 10 strokes, hold this rhythm,
five more. Nice. Okay, don't stop. Just row with me. Keep moving. Okay, we never want to stop straight after any piece or any test, okay? We've got to keep this blood flowing back to the muscles, otherwise we'll sit here and go, oh, and feel absolutely terrible. Hey, if you want to, you can put your handle there, and you can just do this, okay? Otherwise, pick it up, just flow. Okay, reset the menu on your screen if you can, okay? That's gonna load everything into the memory. You'll be able to have a look back through, see the differences in speed and distance between each of those 10 sets. Okay, so you can see the change, okay? Whether it went faster or slower. And the best part, and one of the most important parts right now, okay, is gaining this recovery, gaining our composure, okay, hopefully by now just sucking in those big breaths and keep moving. <clears throat> Reflection is what we'll do in about another minute, even now, okay, think back as we're warming down, as we're just moving to help you in the time of this recovery, okay, while you're sitting here going, I really do just want to stop. <sighs> Reflect, okay, in your own mind. Where did you feel most comfortable? What rating was it? What did the rhythm feel like? What were you focusing on? Were you had a really good hang? Did it feel like there was plenty of time to get forward? Okay, and then also, where did you feel the most uncomfortable? Now, generally, it is up in that top part, okay? I'm not going to lie. But if we know and we reflect, we can start to think, why was I struggling? Was it just that I'm completely cooked? Did I go too hard in the first part? Was I getting stuck with my hands and I could never get the rate? Couldn't get the length? Okay? All of those questions... Self questions are important because we've got to really self regulate ourselves while we're on the rowing machine. I can give you tips, I can row with you, sweat, have a great time, give you that technical focus, but it's the feeling that we have as an individual about how do we think we're rowing. Do I think my current form is good? at specific ratings, okay? Because we can get very, very good at that sort of low rating to keep that nice rhythm. But once we start to get on that teetering line of being in control and out of control, that's where we start to really test the focus and the rhythm and our form. Because if we get out of control, we start to go back into these old habits, okay? Really, really easy, as I always say, really easy for me to say, I want you to move the hands and get a bit more stretch here, okay? It's really easy to do that. When we're under pressure, we go back to doing this, okay? Really easy to, to ask you to do something that's a little bit foreign, for example, but when we get under pressure, we do start to revert a little bit back to these old habits, which we're trying to eliminate or we might not ever be able to eliminate them, but just try and make them less uh, of a dominance than we would like, okay? So, last few minutes here, we're just gonna roll it out. Hopefully you've been breathing a bit. We'll probably do another minute and a half here, okay? So just hang in there for a second. And what we'll do now, in this recovery, which we always do. Just break this stroke down in your head. Try and stay really focused, but just see how I've got a continuous motion, okay? Continuous motion here happening. 
I'm not putting a lot of effort behind my power, but I'm trying to move everything continuously. I'm never trying to stop, never trying to do this, never trying to get there and out. Everything rolls together, okay? We use this momentum, and we're also using this, this recoil, okay? Look at what it's trying to do. It's trying to go that way super fast. And all we do is we, we hold a nice pressure in our hands to actually move with that speed of the recoil, okay? We use this machine to bring us forward. We get ourselves into a position, comfortable. Doesn't have to be super blocky and stiff, okay? There's straight, then there's locked out, okay? We're not locking out. I've got straight arms here, and it gives me enough suppleness, enough elasticity to really get a nice rhythm and flow with the machine, okay? A couple more strokes. Nice. Boom. That'll do. Okay. Great workout. Okay. Great workout, team. Uh, anyone new in here? Uh, yeah, it's a good workout just to start to learn about that sustainability of our rhythm. Uh, short enough time. Yeah, rest period. I reckon it was bang on the money, okay? If we had it, we could have had it slightly longer, I'm not gonna lie, um, but I think it was enough time, especially in that first part, to just be like, phew, okay, that was pretty good. And then we'd start getting into it. When we were up in here, the 20 and 30s, yeah, probably not enough, okay? But that's what we're trying to do. There's a lot of workouts that you'll find uh, on this program, even on the live stream where it starts off nice, and we use our fatigue level, which starts to get up to here, <coughs> as, as our testing point. As I just mentioned before, as we start to get under that pressure, as we start to get under that fatigue, that's where we've got to stay really, really focused to try and keep those bad habits back that way, okay? The things that we were doing, which are, are potentially, I'm only going to say potentially, undesirable, okay? Things that probably aren't helping us with the rhythm of this machine, okay? Trying to keep this rhythm, as I'll mention, and I'm gonna keep doing it because I reckon it's a fantastic analogy. Spinning top, right? String, you can't just go like that with it. It's gotta go woof and accelerate. This is no different, okay? The flywheel, it starts and then it goes. And that's why at the front we get that push. Yes, we're connected, we've got power, and we connect, but then it's when we use this legs, and the body together where we see the, the most acceleration of the flywheel of this machine, okay? And that's why we get that connection and we basically we're holding, we want to initiate with the legs and as we push and we come right back with it, that's how we want to try and be able to move the flywheel of this machine. Too much tension and grab at the front, we just zap our energy big time, okay? Massively by that. <clears throat> Now, when we're doing short pieces, like 500s and bits and pieces, yeah, it's a little bit different, but we still have to have that element of hang and and use that power through the middle, okay? It has to happen. Right, let's have a look in the chat. Uh, just joined the Sensei, been running for a while, but inconsistent when training without a team. So far, good in the app. Okay, Jess. Um, yeah, look, jump on, honestly, um, follow along. Uh, but there's heaps of live streams and stuff as well, and there's heaps of videos on the YouTube. Okay, so if you want to go have a search back for some of those and give them a whirl, uh, you'll see a lot of stuff that's happening. And it's always just technical tips on, on what we're trying to achieve. Okay, uh, as I said yesterday, my form was perfect due to the influence of Eric. Thanks, bro. Thank you, bro, bro. Uh, thanks for today, Doug. Uh, on the money for sure. Notice in the recommit plan that there's not long, slow distance. Uh, and doing the earth, plan to do one or two days additional. Uh, yeah, yeah. So with a lot of the stuff online, um, and, and even with the Essensei stuff, uh, we don't have a huge amount of like training, training, like low and slow, right? Why? Because it's boring. <coughs> Couldn't say that out loud. But yes, right, it is. But what we're trying to do is 
be able to track ourselves once we start getting up because it's very, very hard. Everybody trains just at a specific, for a specific thing, right? If you're trying to do, and, and this is why we can't really just throw in a whole lot of stuff because if you're on here and you love doing 5Ks and 2Ks and all that sort of stuff because that's sort of your body type and style and shape and age, whatever you do that. If you want to do 1,000 meters, 500s, yeah, okay, over here. So it's a really good mix of, of rating stuff because at the end of the day, we've got to get comfortable being uncomfortable, right? And that's why a lot of our stuff is interval stuff because even through this part here, we've got to get comfortable finding that rhythm and the pressure that we get from there. And then, because what we want to do is speed A, B, C, D, E, right? And we, we, if we graft it, it'll be a nice slowing, you know, but an increase at the same time, okay? Because it's exponential. Um, so that's the idea behind a lot of the stuff because we just do the interval bits and pieces and we and we keep it going. Now there's a lot of there's a lot of low and slow stuff here on on the stream on the on the channel uh, because that sort of supplements everything else that's going on. Um, there are some of the programs do have a little bit of I guess like just U two training sort of zone stuff, but for the majority of it generally gets left up to everybody because everybody does things in a different way. Plus, you know, I'm not sure about rowing on this five, six, seven days a week. There's other things that we could be doing. Could be sitting on a bike, be going for a swim, a run, a walk, whatever, in the gym, weights, um, ski, whatever. So there's plenty that can be done to sort of mix up and find your own training things when you just need to be doing fitness. Uh, and then, but when we come to these sort of things, we do a little bit more of trying to stay in shape and form under that pressure. Okay, that's how it rock and rolls. Uh, uh, you're a sprinter, just want to improve 2K. Yeah, so the thing with a 2K is you do have to do a, quite a bit of majority stuff uh, at that sort of 20 to 22. And what we're trying to do at 20 to 22 is just build up um, a base, okay, a sustainable base, right? And I'll just use a round number here for you. Okay, so if you could hold... Um, if you could hold 20 strokes a minute at 2 minutes 30, we're like, yeah, you beauty, right? But then, of course, when you go to, to full speed, you want to be able to hold it under 2 minutes, as you suggest here. But what we're trying to do is, over a period of months, now we want to bring it so that when you're doing 20 to 22 for a, for a period, half an hour, 40 minutes, whatever it is, can you do that at twenty uh, 2 minutes 20, right? And now that you've bought that base speed quicker, theoretically and practically, now this might be a 155. Okay, see what I mean? So if you can't, if you don't bring this top piece down, it's very, very difficult because you've got such a wide gap between 2.30 and 2 minutes. Okay, but if you can bring this down, you, you keep shoving this one even lower and lower and lower. So, for example, if you now, <laughs> big, big ask, but even for, for anyone, if you start bringing that from 2.30 down to 2.10s, then this should be 150s, not even be lower. Right, and now you're you're pushing seven thirties or something like that, but that's really that's really the case of what you're trying to achieve. Um, yeah, but if you if you just want to be doing that sprinting and stuff like this, this is perfect. There's a lot of perfect workouts on there for that specific stuff. But at the same time, you still have to have that element of fitness because ultimately, if you cross into that anaerobic threshold straight away, it's not a great place to be living. It's fine for like say a 500 meter but there still has to be an element of being able to try and get some oxygen and try and get some and relaxation into that stroke otherwise you are just going to blow your cookies pretty pretty hard okay so but keep a look out um as i mentioned go and go and have a look at a lot of the um, resource that we've got here on the channel um there is man we i'd love to know the count we must have 100 workouts on here i'm not sure um, but there's a lot, okay? And so you can roll through them, find ones that are specific to you, uh, to what you're trying to do, and then follow them, right? As most of us time as well, is it's really just about the technique and managing and holding what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, improvement comes in two forms. Improvement comes in a form of fitness, but it also comes in the form of the technique. Now, if we get both of them together, we get a massive improvement. Okay, if we get the fitness right, yep, we get an improvement. We get the technique right, yes, we get an improvement. When you combine those two together, boom, we're going up that way. And that's really the key. Okay, and so that's what we're trying to do. Resources here 
the Sensei app, okay, it's not as technical, okay, this is more technical, one-on-one, ask me a question, um, say, well, this is wrong, okay, and that's why that's why we do these live streams, so someone can say, look, I'm having a struggle with this around the back, and I'll just try and explain it in the terms of what I know, um, which will help people out, like yourself, okay, uh, thanks, see you next week, right, awesome, uh, nah, don't worry about hogging the chat, um, we're all good. Right, thanks team. Um, We'll see you back here next week. There's going to be some resources come online uh, during the week. So just keep an eye out on, turn on the notifications, subscribe, et cetera, et cetera. Um, And yeah, we're going to have every week, I'll chuck in another workout online, uh, which will be, it's working towards the British program, okay, British Roan Indoor Champs. But it's also great, another asset to be able to use, make you better, make you fitter, make you faster. That's what we're here for. Okay, thanks team. Thanks to everybody. Uh, enjoy your week. We'll catch you back in next week, later time next week. So sorry for the UK people, uh, be a bit later. Um, but otherwise, uh, stay safe. Thank you very much for me and the Sensei team. Um, and we will catch you guys later. Right, peace out.